Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this Getting Started video tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a new project using no template, how to name the project, and how to add references to either other projects and or library elements to that project, and finally how to create folders within that project. Let's get started. To create a new project without a template, you start by going to your Home tab and then clicking the New Project icon. From here a window will appear. Right where it says Name at the top, you can name your project. Commonly people may name the project with their job number or a description of what they're working on. So I'm going to call this Project Template. Now in this case I'm going to use Blink Template. What this means is that I'll start a new project without anything predefined. Now as you can see, my project opens on the right side of my screen. So you know you can grab on the black bar with the left click and hold. Drag this around the screen. You can even locate it on another screen if you want. From here I'm going to go look in my references to see what I have referenced. For example, maybe I don't want any of these libraries referenced, so I'm going to select them all, remove them, and show you how to add them back. For example, maybe I want to right-click on References and add a reference to my libraries. But maybe all I want is to work in inches. So I'm going to work with all of my ANSI components. Maybe my toolpaths, because I'm going to be making toolpath. That's a library that I made. And so on. You get the idea. Maybe I want Hasco tooling as well. I validate, and now only the elements in these libraries will be usable in this project. Now, next, I want to create some folders, because I like to be organized. So I'm going to right click on the name of the project at the top, go down to where it says folder, and here I have a folder and I'll call this parts. Maybe I'll right click on that folder and make a folder within it and call it assemblies. Maybe I didn't want my assemblies folder in the parts. This is just like Windows, so I can just drag this up to the root and now you can see my assembly folder is by itself. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful in how to get started with a project without a template. Thank you.